Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Thanks for being with us tonight. This week, United States Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid continued trashing ordinary Americans over land grabs. And you need to be concerned because the land grabs haven't ended. And who knows, will your land be next? You know, Reid labeled opponents of his federal land grab domestic terrorists. This after calling terminally ill cancer patients who say that they've lost their doctors liars and calling a prominent family that builds hospital wings, schools, and gives away hundreds of millions of dollars to charity, un-American. Senator Harry Reid, the name calling goes both ways. So Senator, I've decided to change your name to Harry. Dirty Harry. The story that I'm about to tell you starts with Dirty Harry's longtime senior aide, his puppet on a string with virtually no experience at the Bureau of Land Management, who now runs it. That bureau today eyeing 116 miles on the border between Texas and Oklahoma, an estimated 90,000 acres that BLM says belongs to the public. So what's behind these land grabs? Are they really about protected animals like tortoises and owls? Or might Dirty Harry be up to something more sinister? Now, the state of Nevada is essentially desert. For years, Dirty Harry introduced bills transferring federal land to county commissioners to sell to profiteers building homes and shopping malls, not giving a damn about the tortoises, routinely killing them, all sanctioned by BLM. Tortoises be damned. Now, fast forward. A newfound concern for the tortoise. How dare the cattle graze where the tortoise should roam? So Harry Reid, so incensed that armed military type agents come in like stormtroopers. The BLM, with no police authority, comes in like military paratroopers to move some cows? You need snipers to move cows, Harry? Really? And then miraculously, you back off for so-called, quote, safety reasons. So Harry, why did your guys show up armed to the teeth like they're about to fight Al-Qaeda if you were so concerned about safety? Folks, a little primer here. If a developer wants to build a mall or a solar energy complex where protected species live, they have to find a mitigation area to move the protected species there, in this case, the tortoise. Bottom line, building where there's a protected animal requires that you move that animal somewhere else where it can survive. So folks, this is bigger than Bundy, whose comments recently, by the way, were outrageous. But it's bigger than him. And herein lies the rub. Dirty Harry's son-in-law is in a firm that represents a Chinese company that wants to develop the largest solar energy complex in America, in, guess where, Nevada, on land occupied by the tortoise, on land that Harry Reid's son helped locate for the Chinese and helped them purchase at well below market value. Appraisal, between 28 and 36 million. Purchase price, 4.5 million. Now, Dirty Harry himself is pals with the owner of that Chinese company, energy tycoon Wang Yuso, who hosted Dirty Harry in China and who Harry featured at one of his events. How to seal the deal? Get rid of those pesky tortoises. Query, where should the Chinese put the tortoise? Harry and his puppet have an answer. Harry proposes a mitigation area. The BLM, Bureau of Land Management, actually posts documents on its website designating the mitigation area so that the solar power project can move forward. Unfortunately, that designated mitigation area has cattle on it. 
So at first blush, everyone said, no, this land grab has nothing to do with Harry's solar energy plant because that was going to be 50 miles away. But folks, it has everything to do with the land grab. The land where the cattle grazed was the mitigation area that BLM posted so that the solar power project over here could go forward. Bingo! In true dirty hairy mode, you move the cow so that we can move the tortoises there so that Harry's pal and the Chinese clients of Harry's son can build the solar energy plant. Guess what? The BLM deleted the document that was entitled Cattle Trespass Impacts Solar Development. A little too incriminating, you think, Harry? You know, it's no surprise that people who represent us in Congress are more concerned with lining their own pockets and the pockets of their family members than they are of representing us. Dirty Harry's arrogance, his condescension, and his name-calling is only surpassed by his chutzpah. Now, Dirty Harry came into Congress with $1.8 million. He made a few hundred thousand dollars a year and then reports a net worth of more than $10 million. Harry, here's what I think. The questions were getting a little too close for comfort. So you called off your paramilitary raid on the cows using safety as an excuse. But safety had nothing to do with it. Unless, of course, you're talking about the safety of your reputation. Harry, in my other life, I did investigations. I presented cases to grand juries day in and day out. Oh, to be a prosecutor again. Oh, to present this to a grand jury. Oh, to put dirty Harry under oath on the witness stand. Oh, to be able to say, go ahead, Harry, lie to me now. Lie to me under oath. Go ahead, Harry, make my day.